everybody, Gary here with MacMost Now, and the WWDC keynote is over, and the big news is a brand new iPhone. Let's run it down. So here we have it. The iPhone 3G is what Steve Jobs called it, and it looks pretty much like the old iPhone, except it is a little bit different, apparently, around the corners. Plus, it comes in two versions. You can get the one with the black back or the one with the white back. Yeah, I know, not too much of a difference. But more importantly, it comes in two versions of memory. It comes in an 8 gig version and a 16 gig version. And here's the best part, the prices. For the 8 gig version, only 199 bucks. 16 gig version, 299. That's cheaper than the iPhone now, folks. And that means a lot of people are going to be buying this thing. But we're going to have to wait a while because the other big number is 11, July 11th. That's when this thing's coming out. Good news is, not just in the USA, but the USA and a whole bunch of other countries too. As a matter of fact, Job says by the end of the year, this phone will be in 70 different countries. It's a lot of different countries, including Japan and China, Canada, Mexico, Australia, and a whole bunch in Europe and South America. So a lot of people are going to be happy not only that they, they get a new iPhone, but that they get an iPhone at all. Besides 3G, which means faster downloads, this phone's also got another hardware upgrade, GPS, Global Positioning System, so it'll know exactly where you are, not only by the cell phone towers and nearby Wi-Fi spots, but also by satellites. So you'll be able to do things like track your cell phone maps and hopefully be able to get directions. It looks like this will be released at about the same time as iPhone 2.0, which is the new operating system. This operating system is going to be a free upgrade for current iPhone users. It'll cost 10 bucks for iPod Touch users. And this OS is what's going to enable you to download third-party software and use the SDK or the iPhone app store. A bunch of apps are actually demoed at the keynote, including some from Sega and Pangea software. Looks like these iPhone games are going to cost about 10 bucks. There's a bunch that's going to be released when the iPhone App Store opens up. I'm betting this is all going to happen about July 11th, although July 11th right now is just the date for the release of the iPhone 3G. A bunch of more serious applications were shown off, including an eBay application that helps you track and make auctions, and some medical learning software, and in addition to some really cool stuff like a piece of software that turns your iPhone into a musical instrument and allows you to make compositions. It looks really cool. Another thing announced at the conference is MobileMe. Now MobileMe replaces the .Mac service. Looks like it's going to have everything that .Mac has, but in addition it's going to have all these features that are kind of like Microsoft Exchange. In other words, if you update a contact on your iPhone, it's updated on your Mac. If you update it on a web page on another computer, it's updated on your Mac and your iPhone. So basically it's a single place to store a lot of your calendar and contact data and synchronize your email. Those users that are already using .Mac are going to be automatically upgraded to this service. Those that are not can get a 60 day free trial. According to the Apple website, which was just updated, MobileMe is going to be the same price as .Mac, so $99 a year. So I'm going to be psyched to be able to get this MobileMe because I've already paid my $99. So it looks like we've got a lot to look forward to in July, centered around July 11th, where I'm sure there will be lines around the block for people wanting to get their hands on the new iPhone. And MacMost will be there. If you want the details and everything that happened, you can go ahead and look at our blog post at MacMost.com where we covered it minute by minute. And by this point there should also be full video from the event available at Apple.com. Until later in the week, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.